Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yorah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. Let me start it off with this. <clears throat> It's the book of Revelation, chapter 12, and verse 12. And it reads, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell there, it's like, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, that's all of you people, and of the sea. All right? Even the people in the islands. All right? For the devil, who's the devil? Esau, Edom. All right? The so called white man, woman, and child, the elite banking families, those of the wicked that, that truly rule. The entire planet Earth. Okay. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay. This devil knows that he hath but a short time. He's looking at all the signs. Okay. First and foremost, all right, he's seeing that the, that the, uh, the Heavenly Father, all right, through the spirit and power of, your, of, of his son, all right, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right has put the spirit on his elect, his chosen, to stand up, okay? You see, amongst the nation of his people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, all right? The Israelites, all right? To go out there and preach and teach, all right? Wake up the elect and also prophesy the downfall of his wicked queendom or kingdom or rulership, all right? So he's shaking in his boots about that. He's also seeing the signs of the times, all right, the signs in the sky, all right, being the chariots or UAPs or UFOs or whatever they call it, right? But those are the chariots. Those are the angels, all right, showing themselves more and more, making things happen on the earth, okay? And then he's also seeing uh, um, um, his, his, his uh, friends, all right, these other nations turning against them, man. Okay, rising up in power, having more power than him. You see? So this devil is moving fast, all right? So on that note, I want to get into this. I'm pretty sure brothers and sisters have already heard about it, but I want to, you know, just uh, do a lesson, Lord willing, this edifying to the body and to feed the sheep through the spirit and poverty. How about you, shy? And just bring out some info, you know, about it. Um, maybe something that, you know, brothers and sisters haven't heard yet. All right? So what I'm speaking about is the Ohio train derailment, all right? That's what they're calling it. All right, so let's read it here. It's a 2023 Ohio train derailment, all right? It says on February 3rd, 2023, a freight train carrying uh, vinyl chloroxide derailed along the Norfolk uh, Southern uh, Railroad, it's like a railway in East uh, Palestine, Ohio, United States. Emergency crews conduct a controlled burn of, of the spill uh, on the request of the state officials, which release uh, hydrogen chloroxide and phosgen into the air. OK, so they're trying to contain chemicals by spraying it, I guess, with more chemicals, you see. But I want to go into this article in PR right here. Let's read a little bit of it. All right. And this was published February 16th of 2023. This is uh, says what to know about the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. OK, because, you know, in the media, they, they keep saying they keep saying Palestine, Palestine, Palestine. Right. Because remember, this devil, he doesn't want to um, he doesn't want to alert the people. Right. He wants the people to be docile and, and comfortable, you know. That's why you just had the Super Bowl and, uh, um, you know, LeBron James, you know, being promoted of being the number one scorer of all time or whatever, you know, uh, Tom Brady's retirement um, and et cetera, et cetera. You see, they want you to be comfortable. They don't want you in, you know, you know, being frantic and worried. All right. Because that's when you're going to start asking questions and making moves. They don't want that. OK. See, so they so they keep promoting it and keep uh, uh, um, saying in the media, Palestine, Palestine, you know, and the average, you know, everyday American. 
right? You see, which are idiots pretty much, right? They're gonna think that it's not over here in America. No, 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 this is Palestine, Ohio, see? But let's continue reading. It says, the derailment of train carrying hazardous materials near the town in, in Ohio early this month has promoted environmental concerns and chemical fears for residents. Okay, so that's pretty much the uh, the highlight, all right, of this uh, a train derailment in Ohio, in Palestine, Ohio. All right, and as you notice, all right, I I, I couldn't um, get my hands on because um, I know it's three major ones, right? Right now they're talking about a um, uh, matter of fact. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it through the spirit and poverty. I'll watch my shot. Yeah, I'll write this out. All right, because there's three there's three chemical spills, there's three crashes that, that that are causing chemicals to be released rapidly and massively in the air. All right, and what they're not reporting in the news is that these chemical spills are affecting uh, the people. Okay, it's affecting everything around it. All right, the air number one, the water number two, uh, the animals and the people. Okay, it's also affecting you know the trees and the grass. Everything is getting infected and poisoned and dying. Okay, you see, they even reported uh, uh, um, acid rain. Okay, you see, in in uh, certain other towns, that the direction of this chemical spill, all right, the cloud smoke, all right, is a uh, 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 um, you know, the wind is having to travel, you know, eastward. All right. So it says, uh, even as state officials work uh, to reassure, it's like it. Uh, yeah, reassure them, okay? So, you know, I'm not going to read all of this, okay? Because I'm pretty sure, like I said, brothers and sisters probably have heard about this already, all right? But that's why I brought up this scripture, okay? All right, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, okay? You see, because this devil, all right, he's going to come down with great wrath, all right? Because he knows that he have but a short time. This is a part of this devil's great wrath, Okay? This is the devil, man. All right. And see, the men on the highways and hedges, starting with uh, uh, um, our apostles and elders, all right, at Great Millstone, Apostle Tahar on down, all right, have been telling you for years, man, who the devil is, man. You see? And now this devil is showing his horns, and you people are soon going to feel the effects of, or so like it feel the wrath of this devil, man. Okay? Because he's trying to speed things up, man, okay? All right? Population control, all right? That's not a conspiracy theory, man. All right? This devil is trying to cut down the population, man. All right? And not just cut down the population, but cut cut off the, uh, the, um, the unwanted, right? Amongst the sea of people that wish not to serve him, okay? And his ultimate... Uh, um, his ultimate uh, sign of, of uh, servitude, all right, that's going to be uh, shown by the sea of people that are left, I should say, right, is going to be accepting that MOTB, which is the RFID C hip, okay? This is not a conspiracy, all right? This is not a, uh, uh, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, I can't think of the guy's name, Salakia. Oh, Alex Jones, okay? This is not an Alex Jones theory either, man. All right? For you idiot uh, uh, Israelites out there making that, uh, um, um, you know, speaking, uh, uh, um, um, you know, lies, right? Well, let's continue on, all right? Because also, I'm going to bring this out too before I get to the scriptures, all right? Uh, this here, okay, this is also going on, all right, the uh, Kissimmee, all right, it's, it's down in Kissimmee, Florida, okay, oh, and I uh, also want to add about that Ohio train derailment, all right, as far as that chemical spill, okay, they're saying that it's going to affect people from between 100 mile radius to 200 mile radius, man, you see, so you're going to see a lot of uh, um, um, different uh, plagues that are going to be released, man. Okay. Matter of fact, let me let me let me grab this, man, because that's prophecy, man. All right, that's prophecy, man. Matthew chapter 
24. Okay? Salakia. Um, Salakia. All right. Matthew chapter 24, and I'll start at verse 21, and it reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not, not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Okay, so the times we're about to come into, man, is going to be a time like no other. Okay, you're going to see hella death, uh, uh, lamentation, woes, hell, and destruction, man. All right? And these people aren't ready for it, man. You see? A lot of these people are going to be so confounded and so per perplexed about all the death and confusion and destruction that's going to be going on. They're going to drop dead, man. And that's in the scriptures, man. That's prophecy. All right? Men's hearts fail in them for fear. You see? Uh, continuing on, it says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Yeah, because then because then this devil is going to get his hands on all the people in the world, man. All right. Including the elect. If the days aren't shortened. Right. He's going to either poison them, uh, 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 um, tag them with this C hip, this RFID C hip, which is the market of the 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 um, the, the uh, karagma, I should say. <laughs> all right. Or he's just going to simply put them to death, man. All right. It says, but but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. Um, there's a certain point I want to get to. Salakia. Uh, maybe I passed this. Salakia. Give me one second. Um, yep. Right here. Uh, verse six. Matthew chapter 24, verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, which we which we are hearing about. Right. Um, you just had the United States had to intercept um, um, Russian uh, 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 um, um, battleships, all right, off the coast of Alaska. Look that up, okay? That recently happened, all right. So you're hearing signs of rumors of wars. They 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 sh they, they keep shot. I think they said that they shot down either either the third or the fourth uh, China uh, spy balloon. See. That's been hovering over the United States, spying on the United States, man. You see? So these are rumors of wars, man. All right. Amongst countless of other rumors of wars. It says, see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. Yeah, we're not troubled, man. OK, you have people out here, you, you know, even Israelites, you know, looking at these rumors of wars and these threats of nuclear war being, you know, uh, threats of nukes being shot at America. From these other countries you know all in the media and they're saying hey we're almost out of here you know but they're forgetting the key point of prophecy man okay the key piece before the end can can uh, truly come and that's the implementation all right the mass implementation of the karagma okay among you know uh, um put on you know put against all the you know all the people in the world okay so of course yeah you know us us that's actually in the actual spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, we're not worried because we're looking, okay, we're looking at that Karakma. Okay. Once that's massively, you know, massively pushed, then we know that the end is near. Okay. We're, we, we, we are a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds away. Okay. It says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah. For nation shall rise again, rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, see, lack of food, all right, which is also this uh, Ohio train derailment and this uh, Kissimmee, Florida uh, uh, plastic factory, you know, this uh, massive burning or this massive fire, right, releasing, also releasing chemicals in the air, okay, is going to affect the, uh, the, um, the food, man, okay, you see, not to mention you have damn near all of the, um, the uh, 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 food uh, uh, factories, okay, or, you know, storage factories, all right, already being, you know, uh, uh, mysteriously burned down over, over the years, you see, so, and then all the farms being bought out either by Bill Gates or either uh, uh, um, forced to cut down their produce, man, okay, or, or either being given uh, um, bills so high that they can't actually sell anything, which is going to force them to what? Close their farming business, see, these are going to bring hella famines, man. Okay. 
And amongst all of these Americans, man, what, what do they do? They love food, okay? Food is a comfort thing. It's a lifestyle to these people, man, okay? The fattest country in, in the world is America. That's a fact, okay? Because you people love food, but guess what? The Lord's going to punish you because he's going to take away the food, man. He's going to use this devil to take away the food, man. Take away your comfort. You're going to be uncomfortable, Continuing on, it says, and pestilences. Let's go into that word, pestilence. All right, just for edification's sake. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, pestilences, all right. The Greek word, uh, limos, okay, limos. All right, pestilence. It says, uh, a pestilence, uh, fellow, pest, plague, okay. Now, what is a plague? Look at this here. Literally, the disease. See that? Diseases, man. Okay? Diseases, infections, uh, uh, um, you know, plagues, man. All right? And that's what the and, and that's ultimately what this is going to bring, man. Okay? They were they were reporting, you know, because of that Ohio derailment thing, all right? The chemicals that that spread in 100 to 200 uh, uh, miles in a radius. You have animals that are dying, birds falling out the sky, see? Plant life that is dying instantly, and people that are dying or either uh, um, reporting that they're getting very sick. See, these are plagues, man, all right? That's ultimately being brought upon you, you uh, 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 wicked people, especially the wicked amongst our people, the Israelites, you see? From the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you see? Being, being, and, 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 and uh, the Lord is using the left hand side, which is Esau Edom, to do it. All right. It says all the let me let me keep going. It says, for nation shall rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. All right, lack of food, and it's like it and pestilences, which is plagues or diseases. Right, and earthquakes, which we just seen a massive earthquake. Right, we just seen massive earthquakes. Uh, uh, um. The uh, the most popular, the most recent popular one is the one uh, that happened in Turkey slash Syria. All right. Which that which, which uh, um, um, the body count from that is still rising. OK. The last time I checked, it was a little over 30,000, man. OK. It says in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrows. That's right, man. So there's more sorrow to come. OK. That's what that's what it's talking about. All right, so Lockie, let me get to this here. Back in Kissimmee, Florida, okay? As you can see, it says, Cruise Battle, it's like a Cruise Battle Roaring uh, Nursery Fire in Kissimmee. All right? Firefighters battling massive raging fire, all right? Uh, several acres near uh, uh, nur nur nursery in uh, Kissimmee, okay? Which I, which I actually read and looked into, uh, um, you know, what this factory um, is burning. And it's a lot of uh, um, plastic, okay? All right, I'm not sure what type of factory it is, but um, I read the reports and it's uh, plastic that's being burned heavily, you know? And the uh, chemicals coming from the, you know, the uh, plastic that's, that's uh, burning, all right, is uh, uh, um, very hazardous, okay? You don't think this devil plotted this out, man? Okay? Come on, man. All right? <laughs> you don't think this devil plotted this out, man? All right? It's going to affect a lot of people. Where do a lot of people go as far as tourism? Well, well, as of late, it's been Florida. Okay? You see? It's been Florida. All right? And I think uh, uh, coming in second is uh, either California or uh, um, um, the East Coast, right? New York City and the Boston area, you know, Baltimore, uh, DC, you know, Washington, DC, all right? Virginia, West Virginia, you know. But then when you look at the, uh, the uh, path for that, uh, uh, on the chemicals coming from that Ohio train uh, derailment wreck, all right? It's going where? It's going towards the East Coast, towards those uh, uh, um, um, cities that I named off, which are uh, uh, destinations for people to uh, tour, you know, to come to come visit. All right. So come on, man. You don't think this devil, you know, uh, uh, um, thought this out? Plus, it's going to, you know, uh, um, they're talking about the Ohio River. All right. And that Ohio River is 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 uh, contaminated 
all right? And that's gonna travel down to where? To the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River, all right, travels from, uh, um, reaches the, uh, the uh, north and south of uh, um, America, man. All right, and it connects to the, all the other major rivers that travel through America. So come on, man. <laughs> you don't think this devil thought this out? Come on, man. You're a damn fool if you don't think so, man. It says, raging five-acre Florida fire burns plastic, see? Bur bur burns plastic pots uh, outside Kissimmee nursery plant warehouse, see? And that's a massive fire, man. That's a massive fire, man. Okay? Let's get to these scriptures, man. All right, well, let me get this one first, since it is in the, let's see, right here. This is the book of Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 29, and I'll go to verse, uh, verse 21, okay? And it reads, the chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing. See, these are the chief things for people, man, all right? For us, you know, so-called humans, okay, to survive water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame okay you see a home to live in man all right a sanctuary you see with water bread and clothing all right but this devil all right he's already uh um um you know he already has control of, over these things right He's already taxing you and charging you over these things. And if, and, and if you refuse to pay him, guess what? You're, you're going to be without it. But now this devil is, is, is uh, hindering you from having it at all. You see? So I, I wanted to bring that out because I wanted, you know, uh, um, um, you know, you brothers and sisters to keep that in mind. All right. Or, or, or who or whomever is listening. Right. But also, let me let me get this and uh, let's get Habakkuk. All right. Habakkuk. All right. I've been saying it wrong. Chapter two. And uh, let's go to verse five. All right. Just straight to the point. And it reads, yea, also because he transgressive by wine. See, who is this talking about, man? All right. Who is this talking about? This is talking about Esau Edom, man. All right. Let's, matter of fact, let's start at verse four. Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Chapter two in verse four, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but but the just, right, excuse me, but the just shall live by his faith. OK, yes, the just is uh, is the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, that small remnant of the nation of Israel that believe and have hope in Yahweh Bashim All right. But the beginning part of this verse is talking about who? It's talking about Esau Edom, man. All right. The devil. All right. Verse five. Yea, also because he transgressive by wine. OK, a transgression is what? Uh, uh, um, um. Here, matter of fact, let's go into the word here. Here. Transgressive. OK. All right. You see the word there. All right. It says the outline biblical use. It says to act uh, treacherously, deceitfully. Right. Deal treacher, deal treacherously, okay, and that's and that's and that's and that's a major characteristic of Esau Edom, man, okay. He doesn't deal peacefully or deal, you know, uh, uh, um, with, with you know, with integrity. No, he deals treacherously, deceitfully, okay. That's what devil means, man. All right. <laughs> so let's continue. All right. It says, yea, also because he transgressive by wine, all right, his, his, his philosophies, right, his ways of life, right? It says he is all, it's like a, he is a proud man, all right? And there's no one more proud than this devil, man, all right, Esau, Edom. Neither keepeth at home, yeah, he's always invading other countries, right? Since America has been established, man, look up, look up, Google how many times, so like Google, Google how many nations have America invaded, since this, you know, the uh, small time has been established. It, it, it's mind blowing, okay? But it proves who this devil is, man. All right, it says, who enlargeth his, his desire, his desire, right? When you desire something, it's like you can't get enough of it. You want it, you want, it. and even when you get it, you want more, right? He is a proud man, neither keepeth, ne neither keepeth at home. He enlargeth his desire as hell. See? The grave, man. All right? And, and it, it's like an and is as death. And that's the point, man. All right? 
See? He, who, he enlarges his desire as hell and is as death. See? So that's all he wants to bring, man. Okay? Doesn't matter how many people died. He wants more people to die. See? <laughs> Doesn't matter how many people are sick. He wants more people to get sick. And then after that, he wants more people to die and get sick. See? That's this devil, man. All right? It says, and cannot be satisfied. He can't be satisfied. See? But gathereth unto him unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. See? He wants slaves. He wants servants. He wants everyone as slaves and servants. See? He wants, he wants your children that haven't even been conceived or born to be his servants, man. They're not even here yet, and he wants them to be his servants, man. See? This devil isn't satisfied. He wants more. More death, more pain, more agony, more, more, more sickness, all right? More hell, all right? So let's go to uh, book of John, St. John chapter 10 and verse 10. We're getting right to the point, then we'll close it out, all right? And it reads, the thief. Who was the thief? Esau Edom, man. All right. It says, come if not, but but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. See, he cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's all this devil wants, man. All right. That's why you're seeing him a uh, 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 move so fast. He knows he has but a short time. Right. So what is he doing? He's creating more mass death, more mass hell. All right. More mass destruction. See, it says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. It's not talking about all people. He's talking about the Israelites. OK, and on this side, it's, it's only this only applies to who the elect of the nation of Israel, that small remnant. OK, Lord's not coming back, coming back for every everyone, not even all of his people. All right. But focusing on the thief cometh not but to steal. It's like a but for to steal. To, and to kill and to destroy okay now originally this was uh um yahweh shai speaking about the wicked scribes and pharisees right but now this overwhelmingly applies to esau edom okay in the time that we're living in now in this kingdom that we're living in now see so let's get something else here it's the book of proverbs chapter four and i'll go to verse verse 16 and 17 and it reads for they sleep not who's the they come on come on this the, these devils man okay Esau saw Edom, man all right the wicked for they sleep not except they have done mischief okay wickedness man all right they can't sleep unless they know they have more people that are sick more people that are going through hell more people that are getting destroyed more people that are dying okay and their sleep is taken away. See, if, if everybody's healthy, everybody's good, everybody's happy, they they lose sleep. Uh, uh, no, uh, you know, that's how wicked these people are, man. All right. Mentally ill, man. It says unless they cause some to fall. See, and they're going to cause a lot of you people to fall. Even even a lot of you Israelites, ye, at least you repent. OK. But if you don't, they're gonna they're they're gonna even cause you Israelites to fall, man. Okay, I'm talking about those of you that know that you're Israelites. All right, and how are they gonna do that? Ultimately, by by receiving that MOTB, that karagma. All right, verse 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. See, they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, man. All right, Esau Edom is a violent ass man. Okay, he's a violent man. He loves blood. OK, he's, he's a he's, he's a damn vampire, man. OK, literally. All right. <laughs> well, figuratively, I'm just, you know, talking. All right. So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this edifying to the body and to feed the sheep through the spirit and power. Behold, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Shalom and Ababa Ball.